Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, if you are new here. And today, I'm headed to the school because uh, I got a small uh, futon from Goodwill. And so, me and my husband's going to run and take that. I also have, you can't see it. Whew, I'm out of breath. Um, also got um, a small, like, bookshelf thingy. And I'll show you that when I get to the school. So, yeah, I'm on my way there. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned I teach kindergarten. <laughs> Sorry, but, yeah, I'll pick you up when I get back to the school. So, anyway, because the husband was rushing me, um, I just finished working out. And so I am starting to do, uh, well, I've been doing it for a couple of months now, Beach Body, and um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, because, you know, since we've been quarantined in the house, I needed something because I used to work out every day except for Wednesdays because that was always my middle of the week rest day and so um this just gives me an opportunity to work out every single day at home and do a morning workout and just feel good about myself so i really really enjoy it anyway like i said i'm going to school i'm going to organize some stuff um probably take some things out hopefully my husband will stay just a little bit and help me um, I haven't really told him what we're at, what I'm actually doing, so hopefully he will stay just a little bit. It's gonna piss him off, I know it is, but yeah, I really will pick back up when I get to school now. <laughs> My husband didn't say it was like uh no so <laughs> wonderful so uh, this room's a mess i'm gonna show you i'm gonna flip it around all right so over there is my my assistant small group table um i don't know what i want to do I need to take that down and throw that away. What is a blend? Well, no. I need to laminate that. I'm going to laminate that. But I kind of want to make it better. So, I'll probably make it better. I'll make a new anchor chart for that. Uh, all that's... All that's good. 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 I don't know what I'm going to do for that over there. I'm thinking about doing, I don't think I'm going to do the clip chart anymore, but I got to figure out what I want to do. I'm going to take, well, let me move this. I'm going to take this down. I'm going to take that down. Um, let's see. And I need to organize all this stuff. I got here and I was like, I have all these plans, but it's really hot. So I don't know how long I'm going to seriously stay today because I really don't want to. Even though I just finished working out, like I don't want to overheat. Um, I think if the janitors are here, I don't know if they're here or not. I don't remember their, how their hours work in the summer. Um, I want to do what I can. Classroom jobs, pointless never remember who did what and it was i'm just gonna get rid of it because it's like or having it displayed it's just annoying like i used to have um like a breakfast helper so every monday so and so it would be like three girls would go tuesday would be like three boys and i used to have that so i might just stick with that instead of actually having classroom jobs because they would fight over line leader like i'd be like all right line leader go up front and they'd be like you're and like the, sometimes my line leader would push the kids out the way and be like i'm in front and it was just yeah so one thing i do like i did like the boys bathroom monitor and the girls bathroom monitor um and a table washer and then i always had a door holder in 
the kids always seem to remember who the door holder was and they so I think I'm just gonna take this down and just stick it on the door like and make that way people they will know um I like I said I want to do another I can um I liked that and that just tells us what our specials were. Um, I think, I don't know where I want to have my, my desk or my small group. I don't know where I want to put my small group. I feel like I need to put it over here so that way I can see who's coming down the hall because the door is right there and I can just look and see and then that way I'll be close to the board. So if I need to get up and change something instead of walking, I think I might do that. And then trying to figure out where I should put my reading center. If I do that. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And then I'm going to ask my assistant if she still wants her teacher desk because I kind of want to get rid of it. Kind of want to get rid of it. But it's totally up to her because then she would have to use small group, or the small group table as her somewhat desk. But, I mean, I think she'll be fine. She can throw her stuff in the cabinets and call it a great day. And, uh, and I think I'm supposed to be going over to our house to help her paint today anyway, because she's been begging me too, and I think she just wants some <laughs> human interaction. So I think I'm just gonna go over there um, and help her paint. Yeah, I got here and I'm just, I guess I can start with the bulletin boards. I do like what are we learning? Honors reading math. I like that. And then like I said, I need to do what I can board somewhere. I seriously wished that I had that as a whiteboard. I know some classes, like I think it's second grade through fifth grade they have their Promethean board and then they have another whiteboard in the class and I wish I had that. And I guess I could talk to my principal, but I don't want to piss anybody off or having to people to work harder because, you know, sometimes it's hard to get people to come do things. Um, hmm. So yeah, my classroom, I had somebody comment, sorry, I'm just jambling. I had somebody come in or comment on one of my videos saying, oh, you have a big class for kindergarten. And to be honest, I don't. And I'm actually gonna show y'all uh, actual, this is a first grade classroom, so I'm actually show y'all kindergarten classroom. Hold up. This is an actual kindergarten classroom. This is my teammate's classroom and hers is 10 times bigger. But see, she has her separate whiteboard and a Promethean board. But yeah, this is what a kindergarten classroom looks like. So it's been like an hour and I've absolutely done nothing. I went up front to talk to our secretary, just chit-chatting about some possible changes for next year. And um, yeah, so I do want to while I'm here. I do want to talk because I know I said in a previous video that hopefully I had some good news um, about a name change for my YouTube channel. And um, I was hoping, I mean, it still might be a possibility, but I seriously doubt it, doubt it um, for a transition to an upper grade. Um, it's not that I don't love kindergarten. I've like, I enjoy it. It's just, if you are a kindergarten teacher or 
it's just you're having to teach kids how to school how to be a student and it's it's really rough when um like my last two years i have just had multiple assistants just because i haven't had a set assistant um until so my first year so i'm going into my third year so my first year in kindergarten i had an assistant so i'm at a year-round school if you don't know my first assistant i had her for nine weeks and so after those nine weeks we went on break but when i got back i had another assistant for four or five more weeks and oh she's like one of my best friends now like i like i loved her but um he didn't want to she was only like my interim and so i couldn't keep her so then i had this other woman come in and she was great yeah but it was just having with the one before like he's my best friend now like i didn't have to tell her to do things she just did it and she just knew with this one it was kind of hard because with my last one my first year it was kind of hard because she didn't know what to do and i'm like i'm not i need you to know that's how my first year te year teaching i just needed you to know and me not tell you and then this last year my best friend came back but just some things happened like i explained in my previous videos to just some things happened um that's all i'm gonna say and then i got my assistant now who i absolutely love so maybe um with this year starting out with who i have before and like hopefully keeping her all year and something not happen um fingers crossed um it should be like she knows me i know her and we just will get into a routine i'm just hoping for that um because I just felt like I didn't have enough time, I guess, to really train her. But not saying like she was bad or anything. Um, just, I guess, training her. And then, like I said, this group was a rough group. Like, so I don't know. I'm just ready for a new year to start fresh with somebody um, and have them all year and not having to constantly switch every five seconds. Oh, but what I did want to say, like, like backtrack to this year so before i got my assistant now i had like maybe an assistant for two weeks another assistant another week and then another like i remember going on a field trip and i had a i had a sub with me and i was like this, i don't know this woman i my kids don't know her and it was just a hot mess um so yeah so I just been assistance. I don't know what it is with me and assistance, but it ain't me. Just know that. Um, so yeah, it's hot in here and I might come back. I don't know. I just, it's hot and I don't want to be in here. I wish he really would t turn on the air in the classrooms, but he's trying to save some money. Um, so I'm gonna bring a fan. I might go buy a fan. I have a small fan, but I wouldn't mind having a bigger fan, a cheap one. Um, maybe seeing if somebody, some of my family members have a fan that I can borrow so I can work in here and not feel like I'm done. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm gonna go home and I would definitely pick you back up. I'll go ahead and post this video and then just pick you up. Uh, sorry this wasn't the video it, I had a totally different plan but I just forgot it was going to be hot in here and I didn't bring anything and I this is just good for me to be in my classroom like I said I'm going to text my assistant to see if she still wants her desk um, and just get a feel like kind of like uh, draw a plan of how I want my classroom set up so I might go home and show you that so that's my, what I'll be that's my, what I'll do. Go home, print some things out because, like I said, I want to change. I'm going to change this. And I might go ahead and use my printer and my Cricut to design something. But I do have, I guess I don't have it. I guess it might be in my car. I did find a pineapple um, tablecloth from Dollar Tree that I wouldn't possibly mind sticking on this wall. 
because it's sit vast brick and then it's like, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So we shall see. But back to me talking about um, going to an upper grade. I just, going into it, going into teaching, you have your grades that you really want to teach. And sometimes it don't work out. Sometimes it takes a couple years to get there. So with me, it's going to take me a couple years before. And I don't want to transfer schools, like, whatsoever. Like, I love the school that I'm in. Um, and I love, like, I, I like working with my principal. Um, one sad thing about this upcoming year is I won't have my ride or die assistant principal like he went the bat for me like uh that man if you watching this i love you so um so yeah it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be different but i know he's gonna do great things wherever he ends up uh yeah i just won't have him to go to bat for me now if he was still here it might be a possibility that i might go to a different grade um but i don't think so but i'll keep you updated because you never know i'm i seriously might some things might not work out so i might so stay tuned stay tuned but yeah like i said i'll pick you back up when i get home I want to show you this couch that I got from Goodwill. I think the only thing is it has that little piece, but kindergartners aren't that big, so they shouldn't break it. If they do break it, mm, I'm going to get them. But, like, I don't play. They know not to be jumping on my furniture anyway. I do have these two couches from last year that will probably be out because they just, I might put one in the reading center. I'm not really sure. If you have any ideas on how to do a kindergarten reading center let me know like i said i have a smaller classroom so it's kind of hard to place books everywhere so it might just be me putting this shelf with books and then them going back to a seat but i also use epic and i really like that and we have ipads so they might i know it's good to have some books in the classroom um, these are all chapter books because my my uh, one assistant who's now like one of my best friends gave me a ton of chapter books because like I said I thought I was moving but I don't think it's gonna happen like that so yeah um but yeah I'm gonna get rid of these I'm gonna keep these desks so um yeah I don't know I'm trying to figure out how I want to do things I don't know we we shall see we shall see Three hours later. So I'm headed home. Um, I ran by, well, okay. So when I left the school, I came home and I was talking to my cousin um, for like a whole hour on the phone. We were just talking about a lot of things that's happening in my county. Um, I do wanted to address something that's happened in my county recently. Let me, hold up. Let me pull up into my truck. Okay, so now that I'm in my home, okay, so as I was stating in my car, um, recently in my county, there was a shooting, um, Dylan involving one of our, not one of my students, but she was a first grade student, um, in my county and she was shot and killed, um, and we were just talking about, like, a bunch of stuff and like anyway so it's just a lot going on in our county and like just just craziness in this world right now like I I can't imagine like just remember seeing that little girl smile every single day like she her class was right across from mine and I'm really good friends with her teacher and just like trying to console my friend during this time is, is crazy. Um, but anyway, so, oh God. So I came home um, and I showered and um, I ran out to go to Staples and to Walmart because I noticed that 
Walmart is starting to put their uh, back to school stuff out. And so I am looking for a happy planner. I seen one, I don't remember whose YouTube channel I was watching, but I seen a happy planner. And with me being African, African American, there's a lot of, a lot of things don't have, you don't see African American like people in some planners. And um, with me being a teacher, I've been, when I find clip art and I want to find like an African American teacher, there's not really any. And it's so hard because like, I'm not blonde hair, blue eyed, Caucasian. Um, African American, beautiful brown skin, dark brown eyes, and um, I seen this girl flipping through her um, her planner, and there was an African American in it, and I'm like, oh, I need that planner uh, because you don't see that a lot, and I just wanted to go find it, but I think she got it at Michael's. Or something, but I know I, when I went to Hobby Lobby like a couple weeks ago, they had some happy planners, and it was a happy planner, I believe. And I had one last year, and I really like it, so I was going to stick with that brand um, for this upcoming school year. Really, my dog's ringing his bell for a treat, um, <laughs> but um, I just I, I was going to go to Michael's. The only problem is Michael's is like 45 minutes from my house. And I didn't want to drive that in this rain today. So maybe I'll go tomorrow. So I'll show you my, I'll show you my, um, uh, Michael's trip. I won't be getting a lot because I basically already got everything that I need. I don't really need to spend anything. For my classroom, all I need is like my planner. I might buy more more teacher shirts. Hold up, let me get this doggish treat. I'll show you what I have drawn, but um, I don't know how flexible seating is going to work with me. Um, I don't know, like, how are y'all going to arrange y'all's classroom? Um, so when I was at the school today, let me more talking. I know when I was at the school today, I did ask my secretary how many kindergartners kindergartners are enrolled and she said about 60 so there's four of us so that's about only 15 kids per classroom right now so I don't know if my principal like I said things could change I don't know if my principal is going to be like all right only 15 kids or if they're going to 
what they're seriously going to do. But because of my flexible seating, I need, I don't really do desk unless if, like I said, if you watch my videos from this past school year, you know that a couple of my students had desks because they couldn't handle that flexible seating and they couldn't handle working and being beside others because of their behavior and that stuff. So I'm trying to figure out how my flexible seating is really gonna work or if I even can do flexible seating if they have to stay there at that one spot all day, which will be fine because I'm pretty sure they'll come in and sanitize everything at the end of the day and then switch. So um, maybe do like a name tag situation or not do my three tier drawers that I normally do and they have to keep their stuff in their cubbies and then take it out and then set it at their spot. Decisions, decisions, decisions. This is gonna be a tough one. I don't know. All right, so I changed it. Um, as you can see, I erased that. So the reading center, I'm just gonna put that bookshelf back there. And then um, I can't remember if I had a rug. I think I had a rug, but I took it out. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a small rug. I might set up those couches maybe right here or something and make it like a little reading nook. Maybe. I don't know. So that would be another possible flexible seating. Um, yeah, I might keep both of those couches or at least one of them. Um, but I do have scoop rockers. So like I said, if they want to sit on the rug with those or they can lay on the floor. Um, I move my desk over here. And then that way that this wall is free. The only problem with this wall is it's right here by the bathroom. I'm just envisioning my classroom. Sorry, y'all. Um, and so I normally had turn-in work bins, but I thought about getting rid of my turn-in bins and having um, just like a student mailbox, but like enforcing their numbers. But see, I really like the turn in because I also can put it over here and they can just go over there and turn it in. But I got to clear off these shelves. But because we probably can't share supplies, I could probably move my supplies and put them in the back. That way nobody ain't messing. Or I could just move them to the back. Also, um, let me know if in the comments, if you can comment. If not, follow me on Instagram and comment on one of my posts or something like that um and just let me know how you do snacks in your classroom um because I had snacks like just thrown on the back counter last year and it worked like fine but the only problem is it takes up my back counter so do I just let the kids leave it in their book bags but then you have little ants and critters so just let me know how you do snack. And then I thought about using where I put their headphones. They're going to have, hmm, mm. so many decisions. Because now there's a girl, I, I didn't follow her on TikTok. So, but she went and got buckets for all of her students and put a number on all the buckets. And I'm just sitting here thinking, that's neat, but then I saw so a lot of monies that I don't want to spend on buckets. Even though I could go to the Dollar Tree and get buckets. Mm. Decisions, because then that way they can put their headphones and then they, I can use the the shoot organizer for their snacks. God, why is this so hard? <laughs> Let me know how your classroom setup is going and what your thoughts on how you're going to do your classroom, what themes you're doing for your classroom. Just let me know what you're doing. Um, 
but I'm gonna end this vlog because so I'm gonna stand right now and I'm getting a little hungry. Um, I just want to know what your thoughts are, and I can't just I I can't think of how I want to do things, and I really don't want to go out and buy buckets for my kids. But then I'm sitting here thinking they'll probably step on them and break them because in kindergarten they'll run and just not think. But if they're setting it. Mm. I don't know. God, why is it so hard? But anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, if I go to Michael's, I might just put it on my Instagram story. So make sure you go follow me um, on Instagram. My name, my handle, whatever it's called, is Life of Kindergartners. And just go ahead and follow me so you can see what I'm going to get at Michael's. Um, again, I, I want to change my name because I don't know if I'm going to be in kindergarten and uh, I just want like a generic like education something. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. My new last name is Hooper. So if you find any or think of any cool names i was gonna do like hoop edit is but it looks like hoop edit so i mean it just yeah you know just let me know all right i'm done bye